So let's get started, get our heart rate up a little bit. We're gonna step our feet out and in. <clears throat> Just keeping those hands at your hips for now. <clears throat> Tuck the pelvis here, tightening the core. Out and good. Now let's bring those arms into it for a full jumping jack. <clears throat> up, down, we're on our toes. Good, now let's hold those arms out in a T, keep the legs moving. <clears throat> We're gonna add our ones and twos. Those are punches with our left hand and our right in three, two, and one. Left, right, left, right. Try and find some rhythm. Keep it moving. <clears throat> left, right. We're going to move into our lateral lunges, starting with our right leg in three, two, and one. Work your way to your left side of your mat. We're going to lunge down to the right as we reach our left hand, and you come back to center. So we lunge and reach, and back. Let's go find your center of gravity as you bring your feet together. Lunge and reach. Keep that chest up. Shoulders are tracking back and down. Try and move a little quicker. Reach together. Reach together. <clears throat> Good. We're still working that same side. Now we're going to reach and we're going to launch and jump. Bring that knee to our chest. Lunge and reach. Jump. Get yeah, moving. First five minutes of any workout are tough. Getting into it. Lunge and reach. Lift. We're going to do three more. We're going to switch sides. And up. Last one. And up. Over to the right side of our mat. Starting with the lunge and the reach. Together. Lunge. Together. Think about shifting your butt back. Weight goes in your heel as you lunge. Really focus on keeping that chest high. Reach together. We have three more, and we're gonna move into those knee raises. Two, last one. Now we lunge and lunge off that foot. Reach and up. We have three more. Three, two, and one. Right into our high knees. Get them up. Hips are a little warmed up now. Get those thighs parallel to the ground. Get them up. Staying on our toes here. Again, let's add those punches. Left, right, left, right. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Starting to feel warm. Getting into it. Good. Three more seconds and we're going to get down and hold our squat. Two and one. Feet are wide, sumo squat. Drop the hips down. Tilting the pelvis back and under. So not here, but here. Think about slotting down that wall. Working to get those thighs parallel to the ground. Let's just add a little pulse. Getting a little stretch in our hamstrings. Pulse it out. Good, get comfortable in this position. We're gonna go into 30 seconds of squat jumps in this position. It's gonna look like this. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's go, 30 seconds, come on. Get those butts down, keeping that chest high. Down, up, down, up. Use those arms for some momentum. Push that butt down and back. Can we jump a little higher? Can we move a little quicker? Let's go. We have five, four, three, two, and one. We're down in our plank. High 
plank, hands are pressed firmly to the ground. We're going to start with alternating side planks. So turn your body, open it up to the left, and extend that left arm high into the sky. Then we rotate, right arm comes up. We come left and right. Turn and turn. Keep those hips high. Really engage that core, full body here. Big exhale as you extend up. Yep, 10. Nine, get those hips higher. Eight. Seven. Six. Hips high, butt down. We have four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold on that right side. Left arm is high in the sky. Holding in that right side plank. Now we're going to just dip our hips down and extend up. Activating those obliques. We dip down, extend. Can we get those hips high? Think about that strength, pulling your left hip towards that ceiling. We have five more, then we're switching sides. Keep those knees off the ground. In three, two, one, and rotating over to that left side, extending the right arm high into the sky. We dip down and extend up. Really activating the bottom obliques. Left side. Get those hips high. We have five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Switching to our right side. Knees are still up. We have not dropped. Stay with me here. Now we're going to spread that right arm right in the middle in that space. Twisting towards the right. Then we open back up. Again, activating those obliques. So we're here, we twist through and extend back up. Twist and extend. Option here to drop down your knee. Twist, extend. Come on, stay with it. Five more, we're switching sides and then we're gonna drop those knees. Keep them up. Three, two, one, switch, keeping those knees up. And let's go, we twist and reach, twist, reach. Still focusing on getting that top hip towards the ceiling. We have five, reach, four, three, two, one, extend and drop down into your child's pose. Take a quick rest here. All right, right back into it, back in our plank. <clears throat> we're going to do mountain climbers here, but we're going to bring our feet wide, outside of our hands, outside of our pinky fingers. So we're going to start with the left side, we're going to come wide, and we jump back, right, and then wide to the left. So we alternate, and now let's try and get a little jump in here, left, right. Getting that little cardio in. Right. Left. Right. Left. Come on. Right. 20 more seconds here. Let's go. Left. Right. Come on. 10, 9, 8. Rising up to our feet in 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right. We're feeling good. Got that little intro out of the way. Let's grab our weights. Do a little upper body. We're gonna start with have two five pound dumbbells in my hand. We're gonna start with a front raise with our left hand and a sideways raise with our right. So we're gonna look like this, like an L. Then we're gonna rotate the weights, bring that right hand in the center and then drop. Then we lift, rotate, drop. Lift, rotate, drop. Raise, slide, lower. Raise, slide, lower. Raise, slide, lower. Think about that core here. Remember that core should always be tight, sucking your stomach in. Knees stay soft. 
We have 10, nine, lower, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, up, slide, lower. Come on, three more. Two, last one. Right into our hammer curls. Thumbs are up, palms are facing one another. Up and down. Really flex that bicep. Imagine that you're lifting a much heavier weight here. Up, nice and controlled on that way down. That's when that muscle grows, when you're going with gravity, eccentrically. Curl, release. We're gonna do five more. Then we're gonna go into our standard bicep curl with the palms facing up. And two, one, keep the arms moving. We're just rotating the hands. Pinkies are in the center now. We curl, release. Again, really focus on that lowering motion when you're coming down with gravity. We have 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six. Come on, curl, curl. And three, two, and one, keep those weights right at your shoulders. Now let's get those legs moving, just like the beginning. Out, in, out, in. Go ahead again, we're on our toes here. Now let's add those punches. Left, right, left, right. Come on, burning out those arms. Let's go. 15 more seconds here, come on. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, shake it out. Getting that cardio up. All right, let's keep those weights in our hand. We're gonna do some lunges. We're gonna be working just our left side first. Well, we're moving our left side, working both sides. We're gonna start with the forward lunge. And as we lunge forward, we're gonna curl up again. So we lunge forward and curl. Then we lunge to the side and curl. Then we lunge to the back and curl. Still working that same leg, front, side, and back. Front, side, back. Remember to keep that core tight, chest is up. Front, side, back. On this last one, we're gonna hold in that reverse lunge position into our split squat. So we're back, knee is low, holding here for just a moment. Bring those arms up to a T, palms are facing up. Now let's add a little pulse as we bring those arms together over our head. I really want you thinking about that core here. Tuck it in, scoop the belly, get that knee lower. I don't want it any more than three inches off the ground. Good, last one and pause. Keep those arms out. Flip the palms over, knuckles are up. No pulsing here, but just bring those weights together in front of your eyes and out. Relax the shoulders, straighten the arms. Compound here, work at all the muscles. Five more, four, three, two, one, step that foot forward, shake it out. Drop the weights for a second. Let's do a few shoulder rolls backwards before we switch sides. And let's bring those shoulders forward, opening and closing that chest. And let's swing those arms left over right, right over left. All right, taking up those weights, working that right side now. Starting with our front lunge. This time we're going to bring those weights into the cactus position. As we lunge, we're going to press. So we forward, side, back. Forward, 
to the side, back. This here requires a little bit more core stabilization. And back, come on, this is the last one, and we're gonna hold in the back. Holding here, bring those weights down at your side. Knees are low. Let's bring those weights over our head, touching. Elbows are tight to our head. We're going to do some overhead tricep extensions as we pull. Extend up and bend. Reach lower. Come on, squeeze those triceps. We have four, three, two, and one. Stay down in that lunge. Holding here, stay down. Bring those weights right out in front of you. Palms are facing down. And we turn our wrists up, down. Rotating. Come on. Turn, turn. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back up. Let's stretch it out one more time. Drop those weights. A few shoulder rolls forward. And reverse that circle backwards. Swinging those arms right over left. Left over right. All right. Let's get on our backs. Give those legs a little rest. Weights are still nearby. Still working with those compound exercises. Super efficient for a 30 minute workout. Lower it down. We're going to come up into our bridge here. So imagine that strength pulling your hips up towards the ceiling. Weights are in my hands. Arms are out wide in a T. Lower body doesn't move here. I don't want your butt sagging, you're up. Hold here. And we're just going to bring those palms together with the weights. And then we lower down wide. Together, wide. Working shoulders and chest. Again, keep that butt high. Core is engaged, glutes are engaged, hamstrings are working. Together, wide. We have 10. 9, keep those arms straight if you can. 8, no sagging butts. Come on, we have 5 more. Let's go. 5, make them good ones. 4, 3, Two and one, lower that blood just for a moment. Coming back up into our bridge, butts are high. Check in with your form, core is tight, your body's in a straight line here. Bringing those weights out our shoulders, elbows are wide, and we're gonna chest press up and down, up and down. Knuckles are facing your back, the wall behind you. Thumbs are in the center. Squeeze those glutes. Let's go. Press. Lower. We have 10. 9. Keep those butts up. Come on. 8. Get them higher. Higher. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. One, lower the butts, pick those knees up, like her in a tabletop, 90 degrees. Palms are gonna face each other, weights are sitting on your chest. Lower body is not gonna move just for now. We're just gonna do a left and right press. Palms are facing one another. Notice how when you pick those knees up like this, it presses your lower back down into the ground, protecting you from injury and giving that core some extra fire. Come on, we're running. Left, right, left, right. Five more seconds, and we're gonna hold those weights straight up. In three, two, one, both weights are high. Palms are facing one another. Now we're gonna lower both of our legs down, tap the ground, and right back up. Tap and up. 
Option here to add a little reverse curl. Swing back, getting some momentum. Make sure that roll is controlled. And tap. Knees stay bent at 90 degrees. We're just reaching and tapping. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Come on, five, four, can we get that curl? Three, two, and one. Drop the weights down, extend your body. Reaching the legs and the arms straight, lengthening, deep breath here. Give yourself a few moments to catch your breath. All right. Staying on our backs, kind of do a little bit more core work. We're going to extend again our arms forward. Then we're going to crunch our knees into our chest as we swing our body forward. So we crunch and extend. We shorten our body, then we lengthen. Big exhale as those knees come in. Keeping the legs elevated, keeping the arms elevated. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, exhale, four, three, two, one, and extend the body, catch your breath, working that core hard here. All right, next we're gonna do some bicycles. We're gonna take them nice and slow. Let's peel that upper body off the mat. Work towards getting your shoulder blades up. Think about that engagement. Your core chin comes down. We're up. Keep the neck and the back aligned. Now we're gonna extend those legs out, and we're gonna bring the left in and the right. Legs stay off the ground for this. Eyes are planting down at your thighs. Make sure you're not straining your neck. I want you taking this nice and slow. Get those shoulder blades off. Feel that engagement. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, come on, feel it up, three, two, one, drop the feet. Hands stay behind your head. We're gonna do crunches here, but we're gonna keep our feet flat on the ground, straight. So we're just like this and we crunch up and lower down. Keep the core engaged throughout this entire exercise. I don't want you flopping your head down. Core is engaged the whole time. Up, down. So this is gonna hit a little bit of the, more of a lower portion of your core versus the traditional crunch with your knees bent. Come on, give me 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Come on, let's go. Four, can we crunch higher? For the last two, let's go. Two and one. Rest for just a second. Bend those knees, feet are planted on the ground. Again, we're gonna peel our chest up. Now we're going to reach those hands towards our heels as we slide our body left and right. We reach, reach. Shoulder blades stay off the mat this whole time. We're working those obliques here, those love handles. One of my favorite muscles to work. Reach. Can we reach further? Let's go. Reach, reach. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Knees are high in a tabletop, 90 degrees. We're going to take our right arm and we're going to just extend it to the outside of our left leg. 
We're here and we're just gonna pulse it. Pulse, pulse. Reaching that hand to the outside of the opposite leg. Crunching into our left abs here. You can bring your left hand behind your head. Crunch, crunch. Feel those left obliques working hard. Come on, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And switching sides, lower body, same position. Right arm can come behind your head. Let's reach that left hand on the outside of our right thigh. And we curl, come on. Crunch, crunch. Tiny little movement here. Again, we're not releasing our core at all. We're just coming up a little and down a little as we reach. Crunching those right obliques. Let's go. Up, up. Come on, we have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plug your knees into your chest. Tiny little ball, stretch it out, rock that body side to side, and roll over onto your belly. On the top of the feet are down, let's just press up, really stretching that core. Make sure the shoulders are back, feel that nice extension. And just hold here, catching your breath. We have about a minute and a half left in our exercise. Work hard for me. Let's do it. We made it this far. Finish strong and sit back. Smile pose. Reaching forward. And rolling up, up to standing. Last minute here. No weights for this. Just one minute of cardio. We're gonna be doing jump squats for the full minute, right here. Pushing those hips back, keeping that chest high. Listen for my command when I say burpee. You're gonna pause that motion, up down, give me two burpees. I'm gonna have that push up, and then we go right back to our squats, all right? One minute here, let's go. Finish strong, we got this. Getting started in three, two, and one, come on. Use those arms, swing that body high. Burpee, let's go. Down, jump, one more. And right back to those jump squats. Come on, get in that cardio and let's go. Burning those calories. Come on. Let's go, we're almost halfway through it. Final 30 seconds here, that's it. Work hard, we got this. Burpee. Come on, right back to it. Push that butt back, weights in the heels. Come on, 15 seconds left, that's it. Burpee. Come on, finish strong for me. You have five, four, three, two, and one, woo! All right, we all worked hard today. Thank you everybody for joining. We're gonna slowly bring that heart rate down real quick. Just swing those arms left, right. You, you got to learn how to play. You know, play the piano. You know, you want, you want to learn how to play. I recommend doing a little bit of stretching after our class. And pause. One big breath all together. Inhale, arms come up. And exhale, release. Woo. 